Welcome to today's episode. My name is Don Alabi and this is Ghana Near Photography. In today's episode, we'll look at changing the color of the sky easily in Capture One Pro. This is a shoot I did with a friend, Paulina from Sweden during the Christmas holidays. Now this was taken at Titanic Beach in Sakumono. The sky wasn't looking that great. I mean, it was during the Hamatan season. So what we want to do here today is to try and create some drama by changing the color of the sky. Now we can do this in two ways. One, by just applying one color to it. And the sky casts some color onto the water and then the floor. So once you change uh, the color of the sky, it will affect the floor. There's another method also, creating a gradient. So it affects only the sky without affecting the water and the ground. So let's go ahead and then do the first method, which is by selecting a color in the sky and then applying the color change to it. Now, this image has already been raw processed. I just applied some quick raw process and this isn't what I would use in the final image. So let's go to the color tab and remember this place, it looks familiar. We did something with the skin tone previously here. If you missed that tutorial, I'll put a link in the description so you can get to it and also this will be a good time for you to subscribe because you don't want to miss any other episode and hit the bell so you get notified anytime there's an upload. As usual, we'll pick the color picker and then pick a color in the sky. This happens to be the color in the sky now. Let's go to view selected color range and anything grayed out means it's outside the color range, so it won't be affected. So you see, our subject with her dress is out and part of the sun is also out. But as I said earlier, there is a color cast on the beach and then on the water. So whatever we do to the sky will affect this, which is normal because the color of the sky reflects on the water and on the ground. So let's go ahead, disable this and then change. The same things we have here, hue, saturation and lightness as in for the skin tone but it works differently here so let's move to the left if you move to the left you look on the color wheel here if you move to the left you are going towards green if you move to the right you are going towards magenta so if we want to get maybe a red sky what do we do we have to create more points and then move each point goes to either plus 30 or minus 30 Capture One did this so that every change will look realistic, so that nothing goes out of proportion. So already this gives it the teal kind of look which most people will go for. But let's say you want to get crazy. We want to give it something red. So to get red, we can either go here about five or six times or we can go counterclockwise. Um, let's see. We can go here about four times. So let's go, this is one. We select the color picker, pick the color again, and then go another one. See, we are getting towards red. I think one more and we'll get to red. So let's pick another color and then go one more. See, here we are. But this doesn't look flattering. You get it? I just did this to show you how crazy we can get. So if you need to get to colors which are not close to the wheel here, this is what you have to do to get to those colors. So you can use a mask to mask this out to get nicer, you know, a nicer representation of the color. So for now, let's just go ahead and delete these extra colors that we created. So this brings us to the teal. This to me looks very good. So I can keep this and life is good. Otherwise, let's delete this and then go the other way by using the gradient. So over here, there's a gradient to here just select it and then you see the pointer has changed so we come here and then draw a gradient somewhere here like this if we press the M to display the mask this is what we have so we can refine everything here see this is how the gradient flows we can increase it so it touches the water here we can change the angle anything we want is that flexible you should you should start using capture if you are not yet using capture and you're watching this so let's press m again for the mark to disappear and then we come here select the color just like in the previous one view see the same thing 
so then we go here and then put it here but this time you realize that the color change is restricted to only parts of the sky where the gradient is applied so as you can see the color is applied the color change is applied to only the part of the sky that we have the gradient on let me disable this and then enable you see so if you want to change how it's spread we just capture here and then if we move it all the way down see it moves like a gradient i hope you guys know what a gradient is it moves like from top to bottom in that order so if you wanted to come here more just like this and in this case there is no blue the, the color we selected there is none on her like in her dress or on her skin that's how come it hasn't affected her otherwise if she was wearing blue or any color that's been selected here then we would have to mask her out otherwise that effect will affect her skin and then whatever dress she is wearing i hope you guys understand so these are the two ways to change the color of the sky in capture one i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching